Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our United States of America Let's Play in Victoria 3. Now, in terms of how we're doing, we're doing pretty fantastically. We are fifth in the world uh, in terms of our GDP right now. Sixth overall. Um, we, yeah, we're not too literate, so I'm going to have to start building up a few more arts academies and universities, I think. Our construction sectors are doing fantastically, and at, the, at this point... We can actually probably build a few more. Uh, we are on steel frame buildings already. Market-wise, I've had a look through. We have a lot of some of these raw products like gold, uh, fabric, sulfur, sugar, which is fantastic. It is really good. Man of Wars as well. We've got an absolute load of them. Porcelain. Uh, rubber, of course. I know we don't have any buy orders for rubber right now. But we are going to try and make ourselves into a rubber powerhouse. A powerhouse of rubber that sells rubber throughout the world. Iron, we've got just about enough. So we're going to have to build up iron a little bit more. Oil as well. Hmm. Oil rigs and whaling stations. I Yeah, that must be from whaling stations. I don't think I've got any oil rigs just yet. It is 1867, <laughs> mind you. Transportation, just about. Silk, we don't have anywhere we can build it. Steel, we're going to have to build some more steel mills. So what I'm actually going to do is queue up <clears throat> a few more iron uh, buildings after this. Look, we've got maize farms for our grain because we are down on grain. And then textile for um, things as well. For clothes. <clears throat> and then we have, of course, lead mines for lead. So let's uh, queue up some iron mines. Uh, some more iron mines. And we're getting to the point now where we don't have that many peasants available in a lot of our places. We're getting to a bit of a um, bit of a population dip, really, I would say. So we're going to queue up another 10 iron mines over there. I'm going to queue up the full 9 in there. And then we're going to queue up a few more steel mills. Probably another 10 steel mills. And they're probably going to go into the Niger Delta because that's where we have a lot of peasants. Actually, we'll go for 20. And, in fact, we'll increase the amount of lead mine, uh, iron mines we're going with. Another 10. Uh, how many do they use in terms of people at the minute? Only about 5,000. So that's only 50,000. So we should still have enough in Baiho uh, for that, which is fantastic. Oh, we've got more gold mines available. Uh, I think yes. I think yes. <laughs> gold mines, please. We love gold. Colonization is going fantastically well. We are now pretty much surrounded the French enclave over here. Unless they start coming this way, which I don't think they do. I think they're just going to focus on Herrero. Um, so, colonization-wise, yeah, we are expanding a bit better than the French over here. And hopefully going to cut them off, as well as cutting Portugal off. And joining up our sort of uh, mid-African uh, colony with our southern African colony over here. The other thing we're going to start doing is improving relations with Sokoto. And we're going to uh, in start bankrolling the Indian Territory as well. So that we can hopefully annex them at some point. Um, and then, yeah. Sorry, we're going to build some more construction sectors, weren't we? Uh, and I think, yeah, New York. Let's build another five in New York. And let's see where that takes us. I should have alt click there. Uh, because, yeah. Alt click these construction sectors so they go to the top. And yeah, we've got a lot. <laughs> we've got a lot of buildings in the works. But we have such a, m a massive amount of construction sectors. And once these are filled, our construction will be even better. So keep going. Does seem a little bit like uh, 5 speed is running a little slowly today. And I, I don't know why. Slightly weird. Yeah, it's not going through the days quite as quick as it used to. But that's interesting. Now we've got 171 construction. So that is great. That is fantastic. In terms of our laws, let's have a look at our laws. We have this um, sort of support for universal suffrage over here. So I'm thinking we go for it. Ah, no, actually. Hmm... It's going to get the evangelicals happy and make the trade unions a bit happy. The southern planters will be even more unhappy. 
And the industrialists will go from being happy to unhappy. So I don't think it's worth it, actually. Um, and now we're building a few maize farms. And yeah, you can see instantly our money has gone down. Um, Market-wise, let's again look. Grain, yeah, we, we're, we're really low on grain and coal. Coal, yeah, coal is a big thing. We need coal for our fires of industry. So, yeah, let's uh, smash that up in Virginia. Another five there. Another f 10 in Kentucky. We have Annex Papua now. That's good. And let's go for another, say, 10 in Ohio. That might just take us under the amount of peasants that we have. Uh, but it'll be fine. Uh, people will move in. So we'll build a load of coal mines as well. And then we'll start looking at maybe some universities, etc. We have colonized Papua now. So we are a present in Asia. And New Zealand is absolutely screwed. Look at that. <laughs> that is not good. How is our... Yeah, we don't have any infamy left. I'm thinking we just go for conquering the rest of Mexico, potentially. Uh, yeah, how much infamy? Great Britain, Russia, France, Sweden, and Spain might join. We'll face Colombia as well. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think we go for it. Let's add a few states. Let's conquer. So we've gone for Durango. Have we already? Yeah. Uh, let's go for Sinaloa. Only seven in for me for that. Let's go for Zacatas. Uh, Zacatas and Jaliso. How much have we got? We've got 67 maneuvers left. Uh, where are you, Jaliso? There you are. And then we'll leave it for a little while and see who decides to join. Um, what what the deal is there. Military-wise, let's mobilize seven. He's got 11. He's got three, two, one, three, three. I think we go for the one that's got 11, obviously. Let's mobilize. Let's uh, do that. Let's mobilize you guys. I will mobilize a few conscripts. We'll be Alabama. And then, normally New York has a lot. Yeah, let's mobilize those 72. That's going to cost us a little bit of cash, but it's fine. El Salvador abandoned Mexico. That's a great... <laughs> that's a great sign to start with. Spain's looking like they might want to join, but how are they going to get to me? That's, that's the question. I mean, if they do join, I can't sway anyone. If they do join, I don't think it's going to be a worry. It's like when Russia joined and nothing happened. Um, we are getting a few units. Okay. They just backed down. So. We got Durango. And that was it. It's a bit annoying that, isn't it? Because I wanted to take everything. But at least we did get Durango. Uh, let's incorporate that state, and population-wise, yeah, mainly Mexican. We have Udom as well, which is ind indigenous. That's pretty cool, and yeah, how many how many peasants? They only got 6,000 peasants, and what buildings do you have in here? Livestock ranches and maize farms, and that's it. Okay, well, that's fine. That's not too much of a worry. Let's go to our journal and see whether we have any decisions... Survey the Suez Isthmus. Authorize a survey the map of the potential building of a canal against the Suez Isthmus. Hmm. For two years, I get th minus a thousand bureaucracy. Uh, source of the mile. Can go for the Congo River. Manifest destiny. I mean, we already have... I do really want to press that. Also, the survey a... Let's do that. Uh, cost 20,000 this, does it? I don't want, like, the... I want the... Yeah, I want the, like, explorer ones. Oh, whatever. We'll just choose whoever. Let's survey a skyscraper place as well. And let's also press the manifest destiny. Okay. 
Oh, that's how we annex the Indian Territory. Anyway, okay. That's fine. <laughs> uh, right. Well, it was... Was it Arkansas that was the Indian Territory? It's got a cotton plantation. That's it. Or was it... It was in the middle here, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was Arkansas. It wasn't Oklahoma. I don't think it was Missouri. Yeah, I think it was Arkansas. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. We're now on to the negative money. And what are we building now? We're building our chemical plants. Even more chemical. More rubber rushes. That's fantastic. What's this? Orange versus revolutionary Orange. Wait, Herrero? Oh, hello, Herrero. Uh, I didn't even see that. Uh, but you come over there. And hopefully... And then we can take the rest of that. And then France has nowhere left to expand. That's great. Fantastic. Skyscraper survey. Yeah, we're going to have to build some more... Look at our economy just absolutely skyrocketing right now with all this building that we're doing. So, we are building chemical plants. Then it's maize for our lack of grain. Oh, we actually have a load of lack of grain. And then we're going on to, I believe, textile mills for the clothes. Lead mines, then iron mines, then steel mines, then more iron mines, then gold mines, then coal mines. Yep. We've got a lot of building to be doing. Lots and lots of building. We survived the snow. Good. Good. I do want to do this uh, survey for the uh, Suez Canal because I think that's going to bring us some cash. But, yeah, I don't think it's going to be so useful. All right, here we are. You guys just go and do that front. Not going to take you long to get there, is it? But we are, yeah, we are just... Just going through everything over here. And we have an interest all the way up to the Great Lakes. Ah, it's not even broken out yet. But okay. Yeah, there was no one else in there. That's good. Skoto's still neutral. They don't really like us that much. And this area is still just a mess. No one's really been able to uh, tick it off. So we are still colonizing up in this region. Hopefully, we can get all the way across the air so we can start colonizing across here as well. Uh, it's not the most useful of regions, obviously, but we just want land. We are in the full imperialism mode right now. We want more land than Britain. And look at that border. That is absolutely horrendous. Looks like someone's been given a Glasgow smile there. It's, it is not good. Uh, but anyway, let's go through. Yep, easy beating Herrero. Poor Herrero. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for them. Um, how are our interests over here? So we can colonize up to there, but these little regions, these two here, we can't actually colonize uh, until we put an interest in East Africa. So I think we're going to do that at some point. How is the Marina Kingdom? 20 battalions. I'm fine with the uh, trade unions getting a bit more... ...powerful. I do feel like puppeting these guys. I thought I had an interest in that region. I guess not. But anyway, Herrero is done. And Orange is fighting revolutionary Orange. <laughs> Our guide knows better. Yeah, I think we wait for our guide. Now a proper state? Good, good. Of Bass Congo is now a proper state. Where is that? There we are. Incorporated as well. We need to start incorporating a few of these states as soon as they become full. Um... Sorry, state actions. There we are. Congo as well. Going to take a while to incorporate them, of course. But that's fine. And Eastern New Guinea as well. 
And that's just going to plummet our bureaucracy quite far. So let's go for some more government administrations. Have we got low taxation capacity anywhere? Just New York. Okay, well, we'll build a few more in New York then. Five. And then I think we'll just look at building sort of one everywhere, really. Just to build up that taxation capacity so that if we do go over the limit of what we originally would go over, we don't anymore. If that makes sense. <laughs> 16, 14k, 13k. A lot of these places have very little peasants. And these are going to be the only sort of places the peasants are actually getting any... Uh, getting jobs. So, but that's fine. Build a fort. I don't know why it's like doing the expedition because we already own all of this. <laughs> oh my god, no! This great wilderness. There's, well, meanwhile, there's bloody factories on top of a hill over here. <laughs> uh, we gained a bit of peril. How much peril do we have? Breach loading artillery. Okay, well, I think that is going to be definitely something we want to do. Uh, we've got the White House now as well. Cool. Uh, university. Yeah. Ooh, we could go for standardized filing s system, which gives us a lot more... It's going to cost us 33,000 because paper is going to... We're going to use a 920 more paper. So where is our paper? We already have a deficit. Um, so I think, yeah, let's build some more paper mills. It's going to cost take wood though, isn't it? So let's build some more logging camps first. Uh, and yeah. Let's just fill these up. There you are. I think that should be enough. And then after that, we'll go straight into some paper mills. How much does one paper mill make? 100. And we need another sort of 1,000. So we need another sort of... I'm going to build like... 30 in the Niger Delta, just in case. Niger Delta has been a very good place to have taken now, looking at the amount of population we've got there that can all be put into the factories. God damn it, it's depressing when you say it like that. <laughs> uh, but we are colonizing relatively quickly now. Oh, we've got... It says we've got colonies available. Nope. But we have pretty much surrounded the French little enclave here, which is great for us. Uh, it stops them going any further in to this land that is rightfully ours, of course. <laughs> um, and yeah. Textile mills, then we're on to the lead mines. How long is it taking to build all of this? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> A long time, <laughs> it would seem. <laughs> Uh, but we have 212 construction sector now, which is pretty crazy. Why are these textile mills behind? Oh, it's because they they take a little longer. That's fine. Rubber has been discovered again in Congo Oriental. Good. Lots more rubber. We shall rule the rubber world. We had an election, so let's have a look at our government. Oof. Don't have much legitimacy right now. So let's reform. I don't think we want the rural folk. That's going to increase our legitimacy so much. So does getting rid of the industrialists. I kind of want to put in like some people that are unhappy. No, that destroys it. Um, just to make them a bit happier. Yep, no. No, it, it just destroys it putting anyone else in. So I think we'll just confirm that. And that makes the rural folk unhappy by minus three now. 
God damn. Everyone is unhappy. Great. Undiscovered plant species. Cool. Wildlife photography. Another 5% prestige, I think. Right, well, let's think about what sort of... What do we want to do now? How much population is here in Canada? 699,000, but everyone's employed. What sort of buildings do they have here? Longing camps, iron mines, barracks, port, glasswork, shipyards, motor industries, university. Hmm. Say I did this. Britain definitely would join. Okay. I do... I do really want to take this away from Britain. I don't really want to face Britain again, though. We've already fought them once so far. And I just want to be an economic powerhouse. But over here, there's definitely stuff we can do. Okay, we got the Oregon Trail. Uh, which just gives us 20% prestige. So was it worth it? Probably not. Probably not, <laughs> honestly. Uh, we could look for the Panama Canal. I think that's probably better. Mm. Have rubber industry, ships of the air, research zeppelins, skyscraper survey. Law enforcement equal to five. I think we're going to do that. And I think we're going to switch early across to standardized filing system. It's going to cost us some cash, but it's a lot more bureaucracy. Yeah, using 1.84 thousand paper now. Yeah, it's paper that's suddenly become a big issue. Let's look at import trade routes for the paper. Um, oh, we could actually get 365 from the French market. 182 from the Austrian and 78 from the British. That should really help with the paper. That should go down with those import trade routes. Yep, there we are. So that should cost us a little less. Honestly, I'm not bothered. Minus 16,000 is, is not much. Okay, low market access apparently in Nevada, uh, Indiana, and Ohio. So let's uh, build some railways. And yeah, a couple in each, I think. That'll be good. Yeah, we've gotten straight. Oh, back to 17,000. We are a bit all over the place at the minute with our cash. Hmm. I don't want a lack of authority. Look at our literacy going down as well. Yeah, we are going to have to have to look at building some universities. Hmm. What about the arts academies? Uh, fine art plus two per level. I'm thinking, let's build a couple there, a couple here. Let's build five in New York, five in Veracruz, five in Baiho, and then let's have a look at the universities. Let's build four more in New York, five in the Niger Delta, and build four in uh, California. Build five in Colorado, four in Kentucky. Let's have a look down here. Probably like Oklahoma. Let's build a couple. Mauritania will build a couple. And Buenos Aires will build a couple as well. So that should be, but that's going to come in in a long, long time. Now let's have a look at our market for iron now. Okay, so paper's gone down a lot. We still have a big deficit of it though. Fish as well, interestingly enough. Um, explosives, which we need chemical plants for. I swear we just built a load of chemical plants. Mm, yeah, steel's really gone down. But where is our iron? Yeah, we've got a lot of iron now. Good, good, good. And we're still building iron mines. So we should have a lot. 
Um, now let's have a look at our production method for our chemical plants. Improve fertilizers. It consumes more iron. Yeah, I don't think we're going to... Uh... It gets rid of the sulfur, though. Yeah, that makes loads of explosives. I swear we just built a load of chemical plants. Oh, some of them don't have uh, people in them. That's probably part of the problem. Yeah, the Ohio ones don't have any employees. Well, they've got 14,000 out of 100,000. Hmm. Hmm. We subsidize it. It's only 2k to subsidize it. That should help us out quite considerably. Yeah, everyone's getting employed now. Good. More gold fields in Arizona. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's really going to help. Oh, it's minus 13,000 to subsidize it now. Well, don't worry. It's going to uh it's definitely going to uh Yeah, the input goods shortages of what, though? Because we have the iron and we have the coal. Do we have the coal? Yeah, it's not the coal, is it? The sulfur as well. Hmm. So, let's have a look back at the market. Yeah, it's the coal. Sulfur. Only a small deficit of sulfur now. So... 15 in Texas, 10 in Minnesota. I know we're building big blocks all at the same time, but it's fine. Don't worry. We're, when we've got this much uh, this much stuff, it's fine. Let's build a load more sulfur mines. We've got 17 pages of stuff queued up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, and let's go back to this chemical plant. 73,000 to subsidize it. And it's making no money. Hmm. And it's the 27th most productive chemical plant in the world. It looks very much like we have, yeah, just a massive input good shortage of sulfur and coal. So, yeah, we'll get that sorted. Oh, we're just instantly making too much fertilizer and ammonia. 70k. Saying 70k, but it's not really taking a big hit over here. So I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. But let's go. And we are starting to uh, connect our, our lands over here now, which is great. And now we can actually colonize over this way. Fantastic. France is expanding out this way, so hopefully, like, we can connect first, take this whole region, and, you know, we'll, we'll meet in the middle somewhere. Uh, what about our interests? Yeah, we go all the way up to there, so... Darfurhit is the furthest we can't go. That should really help with our explosives. Where are our explosives now? Oh, and suddenly we've got a lot of sulfur. Good. We got loads of rubber. <laughs> there is a uh, buy orders for rubber now, though. But we can export it to anyone in the world. Same with gold. Gold is just a gold will never change. Hundred hundred uh, price for gold. But look at the amount of fertilizer we've got. So let's have a look at our rural buildings and make sure we're using, yeah, fertilizers. It's only cost. It's only a hundred fertilizers for that. One thousand. Over here. Hmm. Gonna make us 71,000 more money, apparently. How much was that to use? There's only another 120. So I think we're fine. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about getting those condensing things yet. I think the wheat farms will go for the vineyards. And, of course, harvesting tools. I don't know why the har there's no harvesting tools on there. And, yeah, we'll use a slaughterhouse on this one as well. So that should be a bit more efficient now. 
And let's have a look at our market in terms of the fertilizers, because we had loads of fertilizers before. That should have changed quite significantly now. Uh, and just see where we're up to. Uh, fertilizer? Yeah. Oh, we're only a small deficit. Small deficit. Not too much. I think I think we're fine. Pacifists. Five years. Uh, that's fine. I, I'm not. I'm not planning on going any huge wars. Too much, but we shall see. Standard of living is going up quite significantly now because just look at that cash that we're making. We're now up to fifth worldwide. Well, we were fifth before, but yeah. But our GDP per capita is not great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at that market again. I just want to have a look at the chemical plants again. We do have so many chemical plants, it's kind of crazy. Again, Ohio is making nothing. Probably due to the lack of coal. Yeah, probably due to the lack of coal. Yeah, it's just making a lot of coal. Using a lot of coal. coal. Oh, okay, we got dynamite now. Oh, that is... Superb, but do we have enough explosives for that? Uh, there we are. Explosives. We've got about 142 spare. So let's have a look. We've also got electrical generation. I think let's go for that. 22 months only. Um, not too bothered about the armed forces. Um, right, let's have a look at our sort of buildings. Because we were using nitroglycerin in our coal mines. So we had about 142 spare explosives. So I think we go for the dynamite on the coal mines. Because that's the thing we need the most right now. More mortality over here. That's only another 20 for the gold ones. But yeah, I think for the... The coal mines, we go for that. And that should really help with the amount of coal. Um, how much was it compared? So another 775. That is massive. That should that should bring us even. As long as we can uh, support the amount of explosives. Who knew explosives and fertilizer were going to be such a topic of conversation this episode? <laughs> uh, it is weird how things go, but yeah. And yeah, now we're instantly down to about minus 27 on the explosives. What's that? More and more sulfur mines. Yeah, we start. We, we do have a bonus of sulfur now. Then we're going on to the, the last couple of iron mines. Do we have enough iron? Iron, where are you? It's hard to start, find some of these based on their icons sometimes. Okay, we do have a lot of iron. That's good. Because we are going to be building a lot of steel mines. Steel mills, sorry. Try and build up that, uh, get rid of that deficit. How's the coal looking? Still terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Right, so we got the steel mills. Then some more iron mines. Then the gold mines. We don't need the gold mines, do we? I'm just going to get rid of all the gold mines. Like We really don't need those. Coal and steel are going to be much more important. It's only going to take us about a year to get to the coal mine. So I'm willing to run that deficit for a year. And that's fine. And now we've got loads of bureaucracy because of our paper. I bet paper is a big issue still. Yeah, it is. Only 300 away though. And then, oh, and tools we've gone down. Tobacco. Massive. Well, let's queue in a few of those. I know we've queued in so many buildings. But let's have a look at getting in some tobacco plantations. Just to keep our people happy. 20 in Veracruz. I think that's fine. Uh, 
Yeah, 20. That should be enough. And tools as well. Now, that is really, really important. We don't want to uh, ever have a deficit of tools. So what I'm going to actually do is probably queue a few of those to the top. But not all of them. But just a few. Nearly all of them. <laughs> And yeah, that should that's going to make us uh, go down a little bit in terms of getting those steel mills out. But tooling workshops are more important. Ah, Britain is fighting Adar. That is annoying because that's going to cut us off in this region. Unless we can come through, say, Bornu. Um, I think that's worth it. I think we've got to while Britain's at war. Right, let's have a look. Conquering the state of... I want to, yeah, I want to take it myself. What's the population like? 650, 129. How about Damagoram? 650 as well. Uh, let's uh, start bankrolling these guys as well. 4.95k. And then, yeah, let's conquer the couple of states of Bornu. Uh, where is that? Conquer Bornu as well. And let's just... We should only need one army. This one with... 12 men. Why do you have so little men, my good sir? Let's promote you. A couple of times. What was your interest group? I should have checked that. Armed forces... Oh, God damn. It's only got three battalions... What's going on here? Is this the only... It's the only general I have. Why have they all died? Dixie HQ. I'll take the Southern Planters. I'd prefer to make the Southern Planters happier again. By promoting this guy. Oh, wait. No, you're the Armed Forces guy. You. Wow, how times have changed, huh? You are representing the Southern Planters, sir. Really? Wow. Wow. Times have changed very quickly in the United States over this time period, it seems. Massive change, which is great. It's good to see. Uh, tooling workshops going in. But what I think we'll do, guys, we'll probably leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. I know that's been a bit of a construction episode, but we've been fettling the market. Trying to get it right, and obviously it's still not quite right. But we are, we do have like, sort of a lot of, uh, a lot of extras in a few of these places. Especially like grain now, which is great. Because that should make our standard of living go up. Uh, because grain's really cheap. Groceries are still cheap. Uh, we just need to make like clothes. Clothes has been a major issue the whole way through. So we make clothes cheap. Uh, tools need to be cheap as well. And coal, that's really going to help liquor as well we don't have much liquor but anyway thank you for watching guys please do like and subscribe all that good stuff it really does help the channel out and i will see you all again on the next video